Moore gives Gloria Allred 48-hour deadline to submit evidence. Among the accusers alleging sexual impropriety of Alabama Republican Senate candidate Roy Moore several decades ago, is Beverly Young Nelson, flanked by notorious activist attorney Gloria Allred, who asserted that Moore sexually assaulted her in 1977. As proof of the allegation, the only physical evidence produced by any accuser thus far, Nelson put forward a yearbook she claimed was signed by Moore around the time of the supposed incident. Questions then arose about that yearbook signature and Moore's attorneys have demanded it be turned over to a neutral party for independent analysis of its authenticity. But Alred has seemed unwilling to hand over the yearbook and instead has engaged in stalling tactics, prompting Moore's attorneys to issue a 48-hour deadline for her to do so, according to Breit Bart. The media outlet obtained a copy of a letter dated Wednesday, November 15 from attorney Trenton Garman to Alred that requested she ensure immediate and professional preservation of the yearbook as well as a demand that Nelson issue a full and fair public retraction of her false statements about Moore. Any testing performed on the evidence prior to its release to my clients and or this firm which said testing results in alteration and or destruction of the evidence, and or any part of the evidence, will be considered spoliation, the letter warned. As part of the request for preservation of evidence the Moore's request, I, immediate and professional preservation of the yearbook and all other evidence as described above, to, reasonable but immediate efforts to create and maintain evidence regarding a chain of custody pertaining to all potential evidence, and, 3, that the yearbook be released to the custody of our expert forensic document examiner within 2, 2, business days of your receipt of this correspondence. The letter continued. The letter proceeded to make clear that the alleged yearbook signature, which some believe may have been forged, was a critical part of Nelson's story, upon which her credibility was hinged. According to the Daily Wire, another of Moore's attorneys, Philip L. Yauregui, had raised questions over the authenticity of the yearbook signature during a press conference Wednesday at which time an initial call was made for the yearbook to be handed over to independent experts for analysis of the handwriting and other aspects of document verification. Look at the 1977 after Merry Christmas, look at those two sevens and then look below at the 77. And I want to ask you, do you think it was written by the same person? Asked Yao Regui. I want you to look at Holy Hickory House which they say Judge Moore wrote. Judge Moore says there is no way in the world that's his handwriting. However, that call for transparency by Alred and her client were met by an attempt to delay things on Alred's part, as she made releasing the yearbook for analysis contingent upon a rather unlikely development, testimony under oath before a Senate committee. The Daily Caller reported that Alred sent an email to the media Wednesday informing them that her client Nelson would be willing to testify under oath about her allegations in a Senate committee hearing, at which time the yearbook would be turned over for expert analysis. Yesterday, I emailed a letter to the chairs of the United States Senate Judiciary Committee and the United States Senate Select Committee on Ethics in which I formally requested that those committees conduct a hearing within the next two weeks regarding the accusations made by the five women who alleged that they were victims of Roy Moore when they were teenagers, Alred stated in her email. We also urge the committees to subpoena Roy Moore to testify under oath about his denials of the accusations made against him, she continued. In the event that either or both committees agree to conduct our requested hearing, then we would agree to have the original yearbook examined by an independent expert or experts who would obtain exemplars of Mr. Moore's handwriting during the period in question and compare that handwriting to that contained in the yearbook, she added. Given that it is possible, yet highly improbable, that the Senate committees will clear their schedule to call hearings on the Moore issue in a timely fashion. It is far more likely that Alred will first run up against the 48-hour deadline to release the yearbook set by Moore's attorneys. What happens if she ignores or fails to meet that deadline remains to be seen, but rest assured that everyone will be watching, especially the voters of Alabama, who retain the final say in this matter. Please share this story on Facebook and let us know your thoughts on Moore's attorneys giving Gloria Alred a 48-hour ultimatum to turn in the yearbook. Do you think Roy Moore still has a chance? Scroll down to comment below.